All right, you two, we're here for another Death Shadow League. I'm just going to try four Thought Scours again in this league. Nothing really special. Um, just want to make sure that, like, instead of playing looting, that if I play looting, I don't miss the Thought Scours and etc. So, just going to jump on in. Probably play just one league tonight. It's kind of late already. Join league. <clears throat> one of five oh, I want to get a trophy. You want it. Alright, we're already into a match. Sweet. It's my my audio's good, yeah. Audio is good, bit rate is good. All right, so we are on the draw. This hand is not doing it. So we'll ship it. This hand's not much better, but I don't really want to on the six. Here we go. We got this one on top. Make everything work better. Misty Rainforest. What does this mean? So, so I was playing against a blue white control deck that was playing Misty Rainforest today. I guess it doesn't really matter what your other blue spell is. I'm playing a Storm, maybe? Maybe a rug deck? I don't know. Place four, so I did play a rug deck. We have a time of life here. Nice. Playing it's like a rug delver deck, probably. What a blast from the past. Make this goif huge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. Let's check out my opponent's top card here. They're drawing an island. Tomboyf, meat, a Gurmag Angler. The most hand is just four lands and a remand after that. Oh no! I clicked on the wrong creature. Oh my god! Oh. I was looking at their hand and I clicked on the Death Shadow. Just got motoed. <sighs> That's all right. We'll just thought seize the remand and then play. They don't even attack. All right. Well, that's good for us. Huh. I can actually thought seize remand. Dismember the Tarmaloif and play. Um. And play the uh, Gurma Angler. Which is pretty sweet. If they remand this, we're just gonna like, yeah. So let's dismember this goif. And then delve away the bobble. My opponent. I'm gonna keep this. Dismember for later and keep the Thought Scour. All right, we're going to get through this. We're going to figure it out. Even though I can't believe I just clicked on the wrong creature. How good a shape would we be in now if we had Death Shadow in play? As well as Gurmag Angler. The opponent will be at four less, five less life. Let me just have it made. My opponent's a Cryptic Command deck. They are very far off of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
test opt. Okay, so they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait for tracker until next turn, I guess. Island? Are they looking for like a moon? No. Maybe a roast. Maybe they, if they have a, ra a main deck roast, this kind of makes sense. Okay. I don't have any idea what is going on. So we know we're going to attack. And I'm going to cast these two spells for sure. Hopefully we hit something sweet off the Thought Scour to just play. Like... Because we don't necessarily know that they have anything going on. I'm going to cast one more of these because if I hit like a... Yeah, we didn't, unfortunately. So hopefully we hit like a Tireless Tracker or a Cryptic Command. Yeah. We don't have a stub in our graveyard. I would like a stub. A stub would probably seal this up. Because we got Dismember. Tarmogoyf is only a 4-5 currently. How the mighty have fallen. Like, God, Gurmag Angler has just replaced Tarmogoyf. This is a Huntmaster. This is going to be kind of annoying. Like, beatable, but annoying. Do you have any news? Okay. My dog is going nuts. Alright, well, yeah, well, 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 when you're drawing it, you're drawing it, I guess. So we don't want to die to Bolt. So I think we're actually just going to pay full retail on this. Not get... Um, if this gets remanded, then we can... Get rid of this. That leaves us dead to, um, we leave us dead to a bolt if we paid four life for it. Okay. <clears throat> this is like a rug mid range deck. It's probably a blood moon deck. There's a scalding time, so we don't know anything in my opponent's hand anymore. So they have Snapcaster Mage going on now. I would like to have a Stubborn Denial. It's unfortunate. We've, we've gone through 20 cards in the deck and we haven't hit a Stub yet. Like Hand or Graveyard. I guess we play three, so that's pretty close to being right. Like It's slightly below average, but like not enough to really complain about. Okay. I don't have a Serum Visions in my graveyard, just Thought Scours, so I guess I'm going to wait. Snapcaster Mage. Targeting. Cryptic Command. Okay. Hey, Philly. What are you doing? My dog is going nuts over here. We got the block. So we're gonna bounce this at the end of the turn. So I guess they're gonna bounce this EOT. I guess the best thing that I can do is wait because they're just going to bounce this. If I play something important, they're just going to go counter bounce. So there's no need. It's not like I can hit a stubborn denial. Like I, I wouldn't. I guess I might fetch shock to get a stubborn denial. But playing a thought scout on my main page is so weak when we could hit a tarmogoyf. So I guess we're just going to let this get bounced. This is some good tempo for our opponent, especially if they hit something like a remand. Yep.
Young Pyromancer. Okay. We have a problem. But don't really... I guess I can snap dismember this and just pay two life and not worry about dying to lightning bolt. I can remand this, which is kind of annoying. It makes a token. But I can remand the dismember, I mean. This game's going to get close. It's going to get close because I didn't play the angler on 2 1 exit. That's, you know. Oh, they hit a cryptic. All right, we might lose this game now. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to lose this game now, which is unfortunate. Which there's there's no one else to worry, you know, to blame but myself. I just clicked on the wrong thing on accident. Uh, Fleckmeister16, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. I have to draw very well, I think, for us this game in order to have a good shot. I mean, no attack is, no attack and no plays is odd. I guess we're just gonna cast this before. Get some information. It's probably gonna get remanded. Wow. They don't have any lightning bolts in their deck or anything. I guess I'm gonna attack with my Gurmag Angler. Yeah, I'm just testing something new out. Like, I'm going to play the lootings more than likely. I just want to make sure that I'm not... I just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, doing the wrong thing. Bolts. The Gurmag Angler. Okay. All right, so they're going to trade their two tokens for the Gurmag Angler, basically. Which I'm kind of glad that didn't go upstairs. I think it likely would have probably been a better play for my opponent to send that up at my head. You guys aren't catching that that um, noise in the background, are you? Like the podcast noise? And we're just turning this thing sideways. All right, so play attack land. So I could fetch, but at least be dead to like double bolt. Or like spell attack bolt if they've got something here. So I don't really I kinda just want to hold my lands. Alright, so we're gonna put this on top and put this underneath of it. And then swing in here and know that we can cycle into it if we need to. Wow. So is this going to be a lightning bolt to get back or to finish this off? If that's the case, we're just going to cycle into it. Oh, okay. That is odd. Yeah, I thought... So I do like Faithless Looting. I like that it gives you um, some card selection. And I like that it's um, something good to do in the late game. And I also like, I think it's a good game one card. Because your deck's often unfocused in game one. And it can turn your, like, dead cards into actual cards. Even at a disadvantage. I don't necessarily like having to... I guess I should have played a land because I could have just played Street Wraith here. Yeah, that was a mistake. Um... Um... I'm gonna play this one now because it might be might be right to, well, especially with this stubborn denial up, maybe cast a street wraith next turn. Um, though I'm, I'm likely not fetching because I want my serum visions. Um, especially in game one, the deck's so unfocused because you're you're playing against Tron, you have fatal pushes and bolts. 
that sometimes it's nice to be able to turn those into other resources. Um, or if you get too low on life total, turning street rates into resources, which is nice. But it's definitely worse after sideboard, when your deck becomes more focused. So it gets rug deck. Probably want this. I don't really know if... Uh, spell on might be a little too... <coughs> Yeah, I just, I don't agree with that, Teddy. I think that plays to, having played his deck, I think it plays to a, it plays a different style of deck, in my opinion. His deck is, his deck is much, in some ways, it's much different. Um, So I don't really know how to sideboard against this deck. I, oh, let me grab my T's. Getting down here. Sideboard before I do this. I guess we're just gonna go grindy. Uh, we probably don't need, even though they're gonna they're gonna struggle dealing with battle rage. Probably can get rid of these. I kind of like stubborn denial against the cryptic command deck, so I can definitely shave a little here, and probably shave on some discard spells. Just have a little more action. Bolts, bolts kind of medium. Actually, bolts not that great, right? It can couple to deal with creatures, so I guess we'll keep it. I want to keep in one more of these and cut one of these. All right, look at my water, and then I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> Dismember also. I think the discard is better than bolt. That definitely makes sense. I was worried about Blood Moon. Um. So I can like have a cantrip, get rid of a Tarmogoyf. Or hit a threat, get rid of a Tarmogoyf, but we're not doing anything really proactive. I think I can get a better six. Yeah, this is a better six. And we'll put this on top, just so we hit our land drop to get this K command going. Yeah, I definitely think I definitely think EE is is um really important to this deck. I was not a big EE fan because it is pretty clunky at dealing with like creatures. Like it's not great here. Like we basically have EE in our deck because we don't have a lot of fatal pushes and killing Tarmogoyf is hard. Um But what was I gonna say? Killing like killing Tarmogoyf is difficult. But like EE can be clunky, but it is like really good in matches that you kind of need. Like it's good against blue white. Not not like Good, not like great, but it's good against blue white and it's good against Mardu, which is like the help you really need. Um, I don't think I'm cycling this on turn one. They put two cards on top, so they probably have some business. So I think I'm going to cycle this because I hit a discard spell and I want to cast it. Okay. So now we have a good play of being able to use our mana no matter what here. Here comes the Life. Okay. God, I remember like. Years ago, this card used to just dominate modern. All right, it's a pretty good turnout for the home team there. So we're likely we're shocking no matter what, which means we're taking a blood moon. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this lightning bolt because as long as our shadow stays in play, we're gonna have. The um, 
They're, they probably, so they drew one card they topped. They probably topped another land. So we're going to get rid of this bolt. And fetch a blood crypt. Hopefully they didn't keep a snap. They could keep a snapcaster on top of their deck with how their hand looks. Yeah, I understand that. So that's what they kept on top. I really dislike this card. All right. Jeez. That was pretty sick. So what do we got? They have got a Crypt Command and a Dispel, and they put a card on top, so they're drawing a land. So it depends on how much damage are we taking. We can take seven damage, make this eight, and then we're just looking at what one draw step in Crypt Command, which I think taking eight is kind of aggressive, or taking seven puts us to five. In the face of a Crypt Command, is kind of aggressive. Yeah, that's a great draw. I think I want to fetch a basic, though. I think having this be six is fine. Like, I don't think there's, there's a good... With them having a cryptic and us not having... Well, let me thought scour first. Because if I hit a stub, then we're just going to like... Uh, we drew our freaking basic. Yeah, this was all poor all around. And then I grew my... Oh my god. This has been so bad. I messed this all up because I didn't think about growing the Tarmogoyf with the Thought Scour. And I wanted to gain more information off my Thought Scour, and I just grew their Goyf. So the good news is, is I can attack into this here. Their hand is Dispel Cryptic, so if you go to 5, they Cryptic, they... Yeah, the sequencing was poor. I just, like, haven't played against Tarmogoyf in a little while, so I forgot... You know, I forgot the, how it can, uh, how Tom Wright just grows when you added the graveyard, like just not thinking. So the thing is, I kind of have a free attack. I'm not blocking. So I am just going to attack this thing. Because I'm not blocking because they can just go like counter or they can just bounce this and I don't kill the Tom Wright. Yeah, this was just poor on my part. I played. I I accidentally played my shadow. Like I in game one, I misclicked on my shadow. Now I think I'm just gonna hold this back because I can dismember and kill the death shadow next turn or kill the tarmac wave next turn, but I just don't want to take too much too much damage from my lands because this tarmac wave is gonna do it for me. Yeah, I understand you, you why you do that, Teddy. Because, like, what I was worried about was, like, because this game's likely to go long, a little longer, if I, especially if I don't have a Stubborn Denial. So now we're just going to fetch a Tap Land. Yeah. But I just, like, brain farted, which, which happens to the best of us. So now I'm probably just holding. At some point, they're going to cryptic bounce this, and then I just go like dismember and then K command them. That puts me to one, but like, you know, I don't really have much of an option because of the mistakes that were made. Yeah, that's. This is the bed we made by messing up here. So we don't have to attack, right? Because they just let the attack happen and then they cryptic command to deal with our Tarmogoyf, to deal with uh, one side of the. Because we need both of these to resolve. They're going to cast it no matter what, Teddy, if I sit here to block. If we just attack, 
then they just attack me back and do nothing. Then I have to act and they, they kill these. I need them to initiate. Hey, Ann Robinson, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble because we've been making mistakes here. Made some, had some sequencing problems. So there's the ops, okay. So now they make a land drop, we're dead. Okay, there's a ton of life. So we're probably even super dead. If I play the Delta Teddy, then I have to fetch in order to do my thing and I die. But I have to pay four life off this dismember to dismember plus K command to kill something. So we hold back because, yes, that's that was basically it. We go to one doing that, which isn't great. Now I don't think I have any outs, realistically. Ooh. That that was rough. That was a rough interaction for that guy. So I can't really cast anything. I just like can't unless I draw I actually just don't have a draw that wins me the game here, besides like Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Snapcaster Mage keeps me in it. We know they have a dispel, so like well, Snapcaster Mage isn't out there. Yeah, I think I did side out my Battle Rages. So, we're just going to Snap Push. We're just dead because, like, they dispel my... They dispel this and they just tap our team and kill us, but we'll make them do it. We would have been okay. We would have been okay here had we sequenced properly. If we got this first timer wife off the battlefield, we would have been all set. But we did not. It's all right. We have a second game. We have a third game for it. Hopefully we just, like, not play like an asshole. Oh, okay. So you had yourself at four when you are picking your line. So I was excited to the point I looked up like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw that, and, like, there were so many... Wow, so did my opponent just give me an out? They still didn't give me an out here. Yeah, I saw that. I figured that's what happened. There were so many people that were just being such assholes to you about that. And it's just like, dude, the guy made a mistake. I was like, like, that, like, the guy's playing for thousands of dollars and just fucked up. Like, that happens. So, again, we're just dead either way because they just tap our shadow. They just tap team and draw. So I guess we're going to like give, or we're just going to go like just snap push this thing and like hope my opponent misses it. And we're going to attack with with uh but they should, oh, I, I should have attacked first. I'm all over the place tonight. Whatever, just go like this. Get in here. I was pulling a nine, bolt token, only one attack, attack a bolt. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just, we couldn't beat this because of, and this was just because of our mess up. Had we not, had we sequenced correctly, this game would have been way over. Yeah, that's that's just like how that works sometimes though. You know, like I was watching that with my wife, and my wife does not watch. So let's see what I want to do here. I think these bolts are pretty awful after playing a game with them. I still don't really think we need battle rage, so I could leave a lightning bolt in. Because like like, we only needed Battle Rage there because we put ourselves in an awful position. Like, my opponent can neither kill Death Shadow or, um, my opponent can't kill Shadow and they can't, uh, kill Death Shadow. So I don't really feel like I need a way to go over the top. They're just going to, like, they're just going to chump block and then the only way they can interact with it is by countering it. 
No, because it was just cryptic debt. You think Battle Rage is better than Bolt? I guess I'm like worried. I'm just I'm just nervous about scavenging news. I like want more ways to deal with that at the beginning, but we have the EEs. Yeah, I can buy that, especially being on the play teddy. I can buy that. Being a little more aggressive. Yeah, Serum Visions like like Serum Visions makes this deck, especially once you add Bobble into it and Street Wraith, like you have seven ways to draw the top card of your deck at instant speed. Oh, this is gross. So I can kill Tarmogoyf. I can't cast this though. We're gonna mulligan. Yeah, this hand's much better. We would have just gone like counter tap, right? Let's keep this. Um, I don't think we want this at this point. We're just looking for like more action. We see like two blood moons, then the game's just over. I'm gonna be so mad if we lose this one. This is just all my fault if this game goes south. We just lose to this derpy mud rug midrange deck. But that's my fault. Um, so yeah, I don't I definitely think that like you shouldn't even have the like you need I like four faithless looting or four serum visions in these decks. It's just like so consistent, smooths out your deck, just makes your deck so much better. Like, I will likely play a two and two split. There were six sevens. There were four fives until my thought scour put artifact and planes. I milled over Liliana and um I milled over Liliana and uh, whatever it is. Bobble. Um, like I will likely play Faithless Looting. Running four visions, but I have this one. Yeah, I think you can only play two lootings max because it is card disadvantage. So you can't like it's not like Mardu where you can just ditch Lingering Souls and it's okay. Like if somebody wanted to play three, three scour one looting, I'd get that. If they wanted to play four lootings, no scours, I'd get that as well. I will likely play two and two. I think. My opponent's just like, what are they going to do? Disrupting shoal this? So I would I would suggest, Dr. Swampy, that you're not using your street rates right if you thought that Opt was better than Visions and you just weren't street rating correctly, which is what I was doing for a while because I played Jun Shadow for like a long time. And you were very aggressive with your faith with your street rates when you play Jun Shadow. In this Shadow deck, you should hold your street rates until you can gain value off of them in conjunction with Serum Visions or um, Mishra's Bobble or something like that. You shouldn't just be firing them off willy nilly. They brought in Surgical. All right, well, we're going to take this Tarmal Life. This is what you don't do in these matchups. You do not bring this card in. Do not bring this like this guy's gonna this guy's basically mold to six. Like I'm probably gonna win this game partially because my opponent has this surgical in play. Scalding Tarn. Gurmag Angler, okay. Alright, I am in the market for this. Snapcaster Mage. One. The problem is, if I take this Snapcaster Mage, it takes away from my Gurmag Angler. But, like, that's that's alright, I guess. I'm going to stub the shit out of this op, though. 
I'm gonna put this on the bottom. I'm gonna put my Snapcaster on top. Snapcaster is just too good to not to not keep. Actually, both of them are. Uh, I had success with both. I just meant that I ran off for a while and I realized that I actually went from Six Five Five Shadow. Yeah. So I'm gonna stub this opt. Oh, they did not. They just didn't cast it. All right. They know their top card. Or maybe they just didn't want to play into it. Which is, okay, so that's what they drew. So we know five out of the six cards that they have. So I think I'm just going to, on my turn, snap Serum Visions. And if my opponent wants a Surgical My Serum Visions, then like, Whatever, dude. Like, this is what we said. Like, they're, they're going to surgical my serum visions and be, and still, I still have a 2 1 in play. Yeah. They are opting. Okay. So let's just hope we don't get Blood Mooned here. Yeah, I mean, Opt was nice. Opt is definitely nice um, for that reason. So my opponent Blood Moons me, they're going to have an awkward time as well. So I'm not really worried about it. Please do it. All right. I think I want both of these. Like put on top, put on top, and if they just want a surgical to shuffle my library, then like whatever. Might as well settle in for a long game. There's their mountain. Empire Lancer. Alright, so it's Gurmagging, which is gonna suck. But we are actually I can go shatter shock. To deal with this, which I think I I think I'm going to do. So our top card's K command. Unfortunately, we're gonna shuffle away this scry, which is alright. None of these cards are that good. And then I think I'm well, so I could I think I'm just gonna go here and here, because then I can play um, death, I can play Gurmag Angler next turn and have it stub up also. So let's get I don't think I'm playing around Blood Moon anymore. Just get another Steam Vents. Then we're cracking in. Yeah, Shatter Shock's the plan. I'll say that Bob rolls that leg. Bit much is actually really that's like really good at have too much air. Solid job and I think go away. No, that's legit. I only play three of them. Like I definitely do not like having four bobbles. Um, because like they're gonna surgical my serum visions now to make a freaking token. Alright, dude. Yeah, for how, so when people ask me about, like, why a bobble and stuff, I say for how bad bobble feels on average, upping your percentages to play Gurmag Angler on two is worth it, in my opinion. So now my opponent's down even more cards here. Which, again, is just, like, whatever. And I am serving in with a Snapcaster Mage. Yeah. I think that, like, playing without um, 
playing without serum visions is just nuts. And I think you have to make room for that. I think the easiest way to make room for that is to slow down on thought scours and um, serum and uh, Mishra's bobbles and a snapcaster. And we're just going to attack in here. If my opponent wants to trade or if they just want to attack me, that's fine as well. It's not even like serious being what is to do. It's like you can get a turn one about one two race, but. Mm -hmm. So they're opting. Okay, so this means the angler is going to get into play next turn, which is great. I would like to just ensure that I have angler on three enough times to make sure that my deck isn't diluted because of it. Okay, so now we're going to fetch around this. Um, geez. So what do they have? They've got, they've got a five, six all on their own. So, I'm just going to delve my whole graveyard here. Play Death Shadow as well. Star Wolf is Grande. They're digging. I'll put a card on top. There's like a second Tarmoloif. Two Tarmoloifs. EE -E for one. They know I have Stubborn Denial. So they must have like a Lightning Bolt. I would assume they've got a way to deal with the Shadow. So I guess we're going to make them show us another way. But they're going to Remand. Sure. So now I can just attack with my Death Shadow next turn and it might look free. So is it crazy to just like attack with my Death Shadow and my Gurmag Angler? And then if they block anything, now that's just dumb. I'm just going to push this thing and get it out of the way. Yeah, the push was a good hit. So I'm just going to cast this using paying one, paying two here. All right, I didn't do anything. All right. So we're pretty soft to like, if my opponent's got a Tarmogoy, if we're kind of soft to that. But yeah, I think that push was better because like, I don't know, like while they would be at a much lower, okay, so now we're in trouble. Though my opponent can't attack. Now we're flooding out. So we're just going to pass. No second goif. We're not blocking, but if we're not blocking, that means we're likely in a lot of trouble. Snapcaster Mage will be the nut here. Thought Scour is not bad. I'm actually going to play this land. How 
kind of gets a low on time. We're drawing a cryptic, which is not good. This is where bobbles is like, bobbles not great. Like you here in the end game, because like if that bobble had been a, a street wraith, we would have not a street wraith. A that bobble would have been anything like a serum visions or something. We would have won the game there. So we're likely gonna win now, right? Because we can play EE for two. My opponent has to have Cryptic plus something here. That's also pretty great. So this should bait the second counter spell if there is one. Or if my opponent goes to Flash and a Snapcaster Mage here, they should also get it. Yeah, that was a big draw. Yeah, this is this just draw. This draw is pretty nuts. Cause like it's a totally legitimate play for my opponent to just flash in Snapcaster Mage and target something here. And then they just happen to get completely blown out by this engineer explosives. It does appear that even though we tried to get to throw this match. Our deck is high enough quality. What is this? Counter target spell, draw a card. Probably stub this. Because if this is like a remand, then they're dead. Which it looks like it is. Well, we're at eight, so it wouldn't have forced the block. And they know, I think they know we have stubborn denial. No, they don't. Okay, dispel. Okay, good. That's all right. This gets countered. They draw a card. So black, red, EE for two. Blow this up and we got him. Why stub it? Because, um,. I was worried that their last card was a Snapcaster Mage, and if my um, if my EE resolves, if my EE or so so by drawing Inquisition, I can blow up the EE. If I don't Inquisition them, fight over the Inquisition, then I can. I don't know how to say this. If I don't fight over the Inquisition, so if I Inquisition them, they have two cards. One's a Cryptic Command. If the other one's a Snapcaster Mage, then I just go like. Play my Inquis play my engine explosives, stub their cryptic, and then go to blow it up. They flash in the um, Snapcaster Mage to chump block our Tarmogoyf, or chump block our Gurmag Angler, and then they have another draw step. Yeah, and that's why like you you have you can hang with the cryptic command decks. Because of just how clunky that card is. Very powerful, very clunky. Be right back. Okay, back a little late.
Pretty sure if that cryptic was bounce draw, we would have died. Yes. Because we couldn't recast the Gurmag Angler. So, like, with the information they knew, they should have gone counterbalance. I think. Yeah, I was worried. I was most worried about them flashing in a Snapcaster Mage to just chump block and then giving them the chance to have one more draw step. Because basically, it's, it's my Gurmag Angler against nothing, they get the first draw step. So that's, that's where I was at there. A long match. We tried to toss it, but we couldn't. Uh, Magic Hero, we um I'm still probably gonna play looting this weekend. I just want to like I just want to make sure that it's a change. Like it's it's something that's controversial and I want to make sure that like if I play tonight that I don't miss it, you know? Like Thought Scour, we're gonna keep this hand. Thought Scour is so entrenched in the deck that I do believe that there should be a good reason not to play it. So if we draw a fetch land, we can play Shadow on two, which is nice. Yeah, it's a very good hand. Mm hmm. We draw a fetch land or a shock land or a street wraith. And we, we would love another land because that's going to enable. Oh, so we're playing against spirits. So i probably just take Path to Exile because I know I'm going to have to take that. So this Battle Rage is probably going to win us this game. So we're going to take this. And then we're likely going to take the Drog Skull Captain with our next one. How does Philly feel about you? How does Philly feel about me cheating on him? He feels bad. So unlucky. Oh, I should have played my land. Okay, triple rattle chains. Okay. Rattle chains. Yeah, triple rattle chains. And then we're just going to pass. If we find another land, I don't think we can lose. We find it quickly. Like, if we can just get uh, fetch land in play, I should be all set. Because this battle rage is just going to do it for us. All right, these. So let's go get a steam vents. Play shadow. I'm not dying to rattle chains. If my opponent attacks us, they're just gonna get battle rage like out of the game, unless they draw spellcaller. I would agree it's a best card. It turns on the deck. I'll probably bolt one of these this turn though. Okay, I'm gonna get my opponent down to they played Seacomb Coast too, so there's only one card I don't know about. Oh, Six, go to two, kill them? So what could they have? Fetch shot, get blood crypt, five, bolt myself, two, battle rage for 22? I don't think there's anything. They could have a path. But like, are we really beating path? I don't think I'm actually going to beat. Because like, if I go snap thought seeds, they're just going to path it. And then kill it. So I think we're just going to uh, we're just going to go for it here. <clears throat> you talk about Mausoleum Wanderer. We even we beat we beat Mausoleum Wanderer, Rafi, because they they can only the Mausoleum Wanderer only four spikes me. So we're just getting in here, and we're going for it.
Got him. This ain't fairies. No, it is not. I just got your comment, Steve. Appreciate the comment. Okay, so against this deck, so this isn't the Bant one, right? This is blue-white. Hey, Nameless, how you doing? So this is just blue-white. So I think we want, probably just want all the ways to deal with little creatures. Like this Liliana is probably pretty great. Like all my cards seem decent and they can't all be that good. I don't really want Stubborn Denial because they just have Collected Company. Or they don't have Collected Company, so they probably just have Path. Um, this deck plays Reflector Mage, right? I probably don't need this. This is probably a little too clunky. K Command's probably medium as well. I, w I know I want this last hope. So they play Reflector Mage, right? I think they do. Oh, that could have been. We, we weren't beating Path there anyways, Dr. Stompy, I don't think. I could have done that as well. The problem is Path at any time just wrecks us, right? And they're going to do it soon there. I'm just trying it tonight, Nameless. I just want to make sure that, like, before I, you know, because I've never registered Faithless Looting a REL tournament, I just want to make sure that it's the right thing to do. Um, I don't really think I want all my thought seizes or all my inquisitions. I don't have any idea how to sideboard against this deck, to tell you the truth. Like I kind of just want to do this and then call it. Because I kind of want to keep my discard spells in to break up synergies. On the play, I might well, I could so I could just cut K command seems a little slow. Oh. And Ben's side. That makes sense. With Ben's sideboard. So the Ley Lines and the Pyromancers. I'm definitely not sold on this spell bomb. Unless that, that, that's a card that all like these two cards could change here. Um Alright, we'll go with what you guys do here. We're gonna bring in these abrades. We're gonna try these. I'm gonna I, the K command seems just a little clunky. I want to maybe try to do it on the on the play. Oh no no no! GP Vegas side. Oh Ben Friedman's. Right. Uh, this hand's pretty good. Opponent Mulligans. This hand's quite good. We have two removal spells, a battle rage. Do you like it? So I kind of just want to hit this right now. Like I don't really want to get cute because this is going to end up trading for something important later. I'm going to push it because they have quite a they have a couple three drops that are important. I might not have revolt. I usually don't, especially when I'm on the draw. So let me get a watery grave. Actually, I'm going to get a steam vents. Because we have Grim Lava Mancer in play, so I'm going to want another red source. Because if we draw it, we want to be able to activate Lava Mancer and do red spells. So I probably don't want the Abrade. The EE is likely just too good to pass up, especially if they have Geist. Like, EE is just an out to, like, if they had, like, the Voltron sideboard. We have another Shadow, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to kill a Rattle Chains here at the end of their turn. It was, yeah. Yeah, EE is, like, because if everything goes wrong, EE is still going to do it. So we're going to kill this thing with a trigger on the stack here. Because this card makes the deck go. You don't like it to scour. I'm not sure what you mean, Nameless. You don't like it to scour. 
All right, there's Geist. So I'm just going to play this EE for three. So we have blue, red, black. Play this for three. And then probably play one shadow next turn. I could just play two shadows. I play one shadow. Yeah, I might as well just be like an adult and play one shadow. If I play two shadows and they have a path. If I play two shadows and they double path, I'm dead. If I just blow this up, if they have path plus. I play one shadow on the path. Yeah, it's just too greedy to do it that way, I think. Especially when I have an abrade. I can go like shadow plus a braid next turn. It's just too greedy to not to, to play both of them and not get this guy off the board. Yeah, I, I knew about the token. And, but it would put me to three. I got to it. I just wanted to be irresponsible. They're more than haunting, okay? So we're going to make sure to kill this thing inside of combat so my opponent can't play a Drog Skull Captain post-combat before they attack. All right, so they had a path. Probably just want another blue mana. So now we can go play Shadow, hold Snap Bolt, which is nice. Because they could easily have a Spell Queller here. We Snap Bolt the Spell Queller. Play a land, it's good for the home team. This is something where I can like EOT snap bolt them. Okay, they're gonna keep making tokens. My opponent wants to attack me, then like be my guest. I could snap bolt a token. Because like worst comes to worst, my opponent. This is 8, 16, plus this. We can kill him through a blocker. I'm actually just going to snap bolt a token. Because just in case they have another path, I want to keep my life total manageable. And we can still kill them next turn. And we have a removal spell, so as long as they don't go Drog Skull Captain plus, um, plus Phantasm Image, I should be okay. Okay, so there's Rattle Chains, which again is still fine, because they counter this. Then we still take two points of damage, so we go to four, which makes the Battle Rage even better. <laughs> Snap Push was probably better. They're nameless. We don't need the damage, Teddy, especially with this Snapcaster Mage. The damage wasn't going to be a problem because he was still dead. Um, so let's make sure we tap appropriately here. So let's go like this. And let me make sure I also targeted my Death Shadow. Because if we have been at 8, it would have been 18 points of damage here if we had got rid of one of them. We got Spell Coil recovered. All right, scooped it up. Go team. The salt rivers will flow.
So you prefer two? Um, I think I prefer two loot, two two thought scour. I just want to make sure. So I just want to play with both of them. I oftentimes play anywhere from two to two to three to one to four to nothing. This guy's gonna exode it. You can just feel it. Oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! 899. I will likely play two and two this weekend. Might play three and one. Dude, we need Serum Visions. With Serum Visions, I stand. I will I will die on the hill of Serum Visions being just the absolute stones here. Alright, we're going to shit this one. Especially if we're on the draw. We can do much better than this. Alright. Land. Not a land. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the deck's just good overall, right? This is a tough mulligan if we're playing against Mardu, which we likely are. Yeah, seriously. All right. Blue land, please. It's not a blue land. So it looks like we're not going to be able to cast Angler on two unless we hit a fetch land off of this bobble in our draw step. Though it might not be enough here. Whoa. Huh. We got some spice going on here. This card's scary. I don't have any idea what this deck does. It's just like a black red demigod deck. We deserve this. Yeah. Danger. This is a Liliana. It's a Blood Moon. All right. Both teams played hard. So the underrated part about Faithless Looting is you can operate, it can help you operate under Blood Moon, which I like. Yeah, Miss Loot, yep. We got Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so against this deck, like, I kind of want to bring these in, but I don't know if that's kind of loose. I bet they have a card called, I bet they have, like, Pack Rat, too. So probably EE's good, because EE can hit Pack Rat tokens and Blood Moon. Like, the this seems kind of narrow, these Spell Bombs. I'm going to play like they have Pack Rat. Probably, they probably have, like, Pack Rat... Um, Luliana the Veil, which makes you want to have another one of these. But then, like, we're playing against the discard deck. They probably have, like, Fatal Pushes, so we know we don't want these. So at least we're, we're at least doing this. It's going to be grindy. So we want this. Could bring in the last hope as well if we want to get like full grind. The Inquisitions don't. The, the discard spells seem even worse. It's the black, red, pack, red, no chalice. Well, 
Well, I can't see. I, I feel like the floor on Last Hope's not that like bad, right? Because like if they're a grindy deck, then we're going to be glad to have it. But they're like my worst. Like I could cut these. Go something like this. I like the last up on the play a lot. So we're going to maybe try to rethink it on the draw. But I think on the play we want it. It's kind of sketchy always playing last hope into a Blood Moon deck. But like, we're, we're going to give it a whirl. Especially considering you can kill Pack Rat on two with it. Well, if it turns into a grindy deck, then, like, game is going to be good. And, like, if we do believe they're on a pack rat game plan, we can at least rat something, hit it on turn two. I don't think it's very good on the draw. and It will be out of the deck then. All right, we'll keep this. Hand's not that great, but it does, does some stuff. Yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty confident there's pack rats going on there. All right, there's a boy. So because we drew death because death shadow's coming, I should have waited. That was stupid. I guess we're gonna stub. We're just gonna stub a discard spell. It's really good now. Yeah, it was discard spells getting out of my face. Hopefully we draw like a Street Wraith or a Thoughtseize, but I boarded out two Street Wraiths. Mm -hmm. You just knew. So now we're going to do this on my opponent's turn. Because we get to get information about what my opponent does to determine what we want to do with our Scry. Let's draw another stub. Fatal push. We probably don't want that. So, do we play around Blood Moon? I don't think we're playing around Blood Moon. But I also don't really want to just run my Death Shadow out here to do nothing and then get Blood Moon. So I might just fetch like a Steam Vents, play this, and then hold. But then I'm not doing anything with my mana. I probably actually my best play is to just play EE on three. Modern All Star, yeah. <clears throat> Every deck. I think we're just going to get a Steam Vent, pass, draw two cards here. Hopefully, we find a discard spell. Okay, that helps out a lot. So now that we found a discard spell, we're just going to die on this hill if my opponent has a blood moon. We have two blood moons here. Chandra, Torch of Defiance. We can get that next turn. Let's just get this Rabble Master. Let's think of haste. Flying and haste. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to close the door here. So definitely snap thoughts using before combat in order to crack in for five. Okay, so now am I just dead? Maybe not. The problem is... This costs four. How much does this cost? It costs one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're good. We're super good. I thought it cost four for a second. So we're just going to snap thoughts. He's this Chandra. Crack in for five. I just want to deal the damage. That's what we're looking to do. And we're not going to, like, 
increase my clock, and we're not going to uh, we're not gonna be able to hit these with a discard spell. So I'd rather just hit the Chandra with a discard spell. It's not bad. So crack for seven, and then probably just play Gurmag Angler. Because then they can't attack with their guy. And it's got, well then they're just they're just dead even through even through their dude. They'd have to like go faithless looting into put guy in the bin, get like a Simeon Spirit guide and do it. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense, Teddy. Because, like, I just didn't know. Like, I, I thought they cost four for a second. Okay, so now we definitely want these Lilianas out on the draw. Probably on the play, too. You guys are probably right. I kind of want Battle Rages, just because, like, things are probably going to get a little sketchy. Then maybe I can just ditch these Color Guns commands, too, and just, like, have another stub and a Spell Bomb. Or just bring in, like, cut the spell bomb. And then play, like, another Street Wraith. I could see cutting a Snapcaster Mage on the draw, maybe for a spell bomb. Maybe I don't need all my Stubborn Denials. Go Well, no, the spell bombs are bad. I'm going to go with the spell bombs are bad. And bring the Snapcaster back. Yeah. You think Bob is better than Stub and Command? Even after we saw Chandra, like they've got Chandra, they've got Blood Moon, they easily could have like Liliana the Veil. Like Stubborn Denial sounds pretty good to me. Four might be a bit much, so maybe it's worth just playing another Street Wraith to make sure that we like are aggressive on the draw. Or I could play Dismember just to be able to kill a Demagogue. Kind of like that. We're going to go like this. Settled. We might, we might, you know, miss the spell bombs, but like, we're going to give it a whirl. Okay. We are going to ship this hand. It's not aggressive. We want to be aggressive. All right, we're going to keep this. This hand's not very good, but it's at least there's something. We got to land, so we're kind of playing magic. This is just clunky black moon. Way to go, team. They took my bobble. They actually took my bobble. Huh. All right. That seems so odd to do. To take my bobble after you saw I scryed on top. Like, it's one thing if I scry to the bottom and then, like, maybe you think about it. Yeah, we can definitely do that, Teddy. There's a discard spell. Okay, so goodbye, probably like engineer explosives. We're gonna keep this uncracked because we want to be able to push a rabble master next turn. Yeah. Nothing makes sense. We didn't surgical. Oh. What do we fetch for? My opponent moons me here. Don't moon me. Come on. Have a heart. Nice. All 
All right, we're going to pass. Don't play a Chandra. There's so many cards that can be really bad here for the home team. Yeah, I agree. So I can bolt myself and play a 1-1 one, one Shadow, which I'm going to assume their hands either removal or demigods, and at least by bolting myself and playing a Shadow, I can get to Gurmag Angler quickly. So like while this is not pretty and I'm not proud of this, I believe it's what's going to, what is this? Why are you fetching? Okay. Get that shit out of here. All right, we got bolted. That's all right. We can get Gurmag Angler into play now. Let's look at what our opponent's drawing. They're drawing a Rabble Master. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might as well delve all the way because I can't even kill this thing because I don't have revolt. I get punished if I draw a stub, I guess. I could draw a thought scour. So let's just delve the whole thing. It's probably going to get terminated. Yeah. Into the one mana. That guy just does not give a shit. All right, at least I can kill it next turn. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, draw some gas. I guess it's just going to be a tap land, as unfortunate as that sounds. Or it could be an island or a swamp. I think I'm just going to be an adult and get a swamp. I don't think we're gonna win this game. I'd be really surprised if we win. Oh man. We're stubborn, ladies and gentlemen. So couldn't pay for his pack, nice. This is one of the more odd games of magic I've ever played. You just know they have like forty two kill spells in their hand. All right, maybe they just have nothing but lands. I've almost had enough of this thing. I think I'm actually going to deal with it because it's going to enable me to, like, if I draw Gurmag Angler, having this in the graveyard is going to allow me to uh, like delve for Gurmag Angler and have two Stubborn Denials up, which I don't think, because their hand has to be either removal spells or lands. That makes sense. Yeah, we're, we're in a tough way, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, we're dead. They were actually, we got dismembers, right? Yeah, we have two dismembers. It's an odd time for a lightning bolt. Okay, let's get steam vents. 
So we got, we've got two dismembers. We might as well get a bunch of cantrips to draw to as well. Got me. GG's opponent. He got me. All right, let's win the last two. I'm just going to do one league tonight. I've been going late the last couple nights, and work is a little intense. So we're going to play two more matches and then call it. Call it an evening. Hopefully we can win the next ones here. I want to try Dalloway's deck, Dalloway's Legacy deck next week. I don't really need that many cards for it. I'm going to play Death Shadow in every format. So you just reprint Death Shadow in standard. I'd appreciate it. All right, we'll play first. And this hand's good. We're probably not going to cycle on one. We're just going to play a fetch land and pass. Look to cycle next turn. Sorry, I'm just loading this deck list on a moto. Okay, we're both shadowing it up. I hate this mirror so much. This mirror is just like a huge dick punching match. All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna cast this thought scour because I want my graveyard stocked. It gives my opponent potentially a good hit here. Alternatively, I can cycle my Street Wraith, find a stub, which is probably worth it. It could also be that my, um, yeah, I'm just going to do this here. I might find a stub or denial. I'm going to use my mana anyways. It's okay. I'm just going to do this because I want my graveyard full. Make Snapcaster Mages and Gurman Anglers better. Or we could draw those. My deck's also not as good in the mirror as like Brandon's deck is. Like Brandon's deck's much better in the mirror than mine is. He's got fourth Snapcaster Mage. He's got more spells to actually do stuff. So like if depending on how this deck is built, I could be at like a pretty serious disadvantage. Alright, that's not bad. All right, we're going to take their Gurmag Angler. Now nobody has nothing. My opponent's going to have to be careful. If I find a Snapcaster Mage, I'm just going to burn them out of this game. This isn't his moto name, is it? Or am I, am I crazy? All right. They probably found a shadow, if I had to guess. Did you find a shadow, my friend? No, this is a Gurmag Angler. 
I thought he's in last turn. I only have one card left in their hand. All right, so we're going to ask ourselves, how are we winning this game? I've got three Snapcaster Mages. I have three Snapcaster Mages and a Bloodstained Mire. We're likely just maybe just bolting, bolting. We let them have stub. We probably should have done that before they untapped because of stub. Because now they could like theoretically stub me. I guess I could have gone after this angler. Yeah, please. So the big question here, we're probably firing off one of these. I don't think killing this is going to work. I really don't think much of what I do is actually going to work here, to tell you the truth. Draw. Why did you stop on my draw step? Everybody stops on my draw step tonight. And we're dead. I guess I could have saved a bolt. Could have saved it. All right. So in the mirror, I like these and these two. I don't like Battle Rage. I don't really like Lightning Bolt. And I like to cut like two Street Wraiths. But I could go like a Denial and a Street Wraith actually. I don't want too many counter spells. Something that's nice that I could, I could get beat up for this a little bit. Um, when I was when you play when you play Faithless Looting, you can like sideboard a little looser. Like I still have six discard spells, which is a lot for these mirrors. I think you need them in the early game, but they're so bad top decks late that it's just gonna suck so much if we draw those. I'd be much more comfortable keeping six discard spells if I had. I guess we can cut one on the draw, on the play, and then look to bring it back in on the draw. Or I can just keep a lightning bolt as its action and it can pressure Liliana's. I know Nameless likes to. Um, I know Nameless likes to keep bolts in in the mirror. You like to keep your mirror. We're gonna we're gonna board like you do, nameless. We're gonna we're gonna keep these in. We're gonna give this a try. You cut inquisitions, right? We're gonna try this. Yeah, I think that's just worse to do, Doctor Swampy, because like I kept most of my discard in, in the Death Shadow mirrors, because like you just pick them apart. The first person to discard spell picks the other ones apart. Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. I think it's pretty good. We're not going to, we, we need a threat, obviously, but like we're going to take, we're not going to lose to a Delve card this game. That's that's how this all goes sour. Watery Grave, Thoughtseize. So here we're just going to take my opponent's Thoughtseize and then either take their Stub or their Visions, whichever they don't do. That makes their deck. That makes sense because the deck's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is definitely, it is definitely, uh, it's definitely aggressive. So it's, they did one like this, and then one like this. They went, they split it one and one. All right, our Liliana is pretty good. All right, we're getting this Gurmag Angler out of there. Shit, I hate it when I don't do this. Right there, then we're gonna pass. For not playing against all the way TBR. Okay, so we can't unfortunately jam this. Uh, this is gonna get a blood crib, so I might as well just fetch now. We can't jam this Liliana because of this stub. All right. It's very likely they have a removal spell. Like they could have easily kept a removal spell, or they could have kept something like their own Liliana on top, or a Snapcaster Mage. Like that makes sense to me. That's a good hit, though. And if they kill it, we can just rebuy it. And we're pretty equipped to deal with shadow fights. Getting bolted. That is sad. They kept their bolts in. All right. We have a Snapcaster in our yard, too. I'm just going to pass. Oh, there's the bolt strats. What do we got here? God, don't, you son of a bitch. Oh, that sucks. Oh, they're going to Serum Visions? No way. They're actually going to Serum Visions. Holy shit. They're not going to discard this penalty. Awesome. I have three cards in my hand. Come on. I've got to have either removal spells or Planeswalkers, and you need to deal with those. Where they go? They went put one card on the bottom, they split it. I go to seven. They have Battle Rage, Stub, and two other cards. I think going to seven is okay. And then we're going to take out, we're just going to hit this, then play a Shadow. I would agree. And as long as we don't get cheesed out, I mean, even Gurmag Angler is, like, not really a problem at this point. If they have something like Street Wraith would kind of be a little scary. Okay, so there's Shadow. Huh. So I can actually just dismember this, then push it. They have to counter the dismember, or if they don't counter the dismember, they don't have Ferocious. So this should do it, right? Oh, that leaves us dead too. I just gave away what I was doing, but. They have three cards. I'm just making sure. Like, I don't think we're gonna pay full retail on this because if they have, they've already showed us they have bolts in.
Let's stop this. So I actually get it with Liliana if they let it resolve, which is kind of funny. So I'm going to push now before they can get Snapcaster for the stubs in the graveyard for a Snapcaster Mage. I don't want to let, I don't want to let this let them get, hit this back here, the last card snap. All right. So, Nameless, you don't even like your discard spells on the draw. Nice TBR. I feel like you need these on the draw. Like, you need some way to break serve, right? You prefer counter spells in the draw. But on the draw, we don't get to, it's not like we have to play a land, like we don't get the first one, right? Prefer counter on the play. We're on the draw now. Focus, man. What are you talking about? Like, maybe just none of these are good on the draw, and I can bring my discard spells. Because I feel like I have to be able to break serve. Or maybe, like, we don't keep these bolts in on the draw. We go like this. Yeah. This is, that's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think, Nameless. Yeah, we're going to submit it. Go, team. You want all four wraiths? You play all four of these. I don't know what else I would cut. Just more, more discards, more probably more counter spells. All right, his hand's pretty good. I don't really don't want to mulligan. I mean, I've got too many lands, but I really don't want to mulligan. Well, they're okay, right? Like the wraiths, like they can. Yeah, I think the wraiths. Are okay, so we're going to play this spell bomb out here. Get a blood crypt. If you can get ready to cast them, they're, they're really good. They're hard to kill and they're unblockable, which is always nice. Teddy, you're so wholesome. All right, so we're not going to get angler. If my opponent, even if my opponent has the chance to like. We'll just crack this bomb here. Mm hmm. Yes, you got it, dude. I'm probably going to nuke my opponent's graveyard this turn. Okay, one, two, three, four. So they play a Tassiger. Most of the lists are all playing Gurmag Angler. Yeah, I brought Bomb back. I, I don't know. I've been liking it. But I also might cut it because I sometimes I, I have too much of a crutch on it. So I'm going to let this happen. I don't think my opponent has a Tassiger. It's much more likely a Death Shadow. If my opponent goes to Cycle of Street Wraith, though, I will blow this Bomb. Yeah. Okay, so I have nothing. Hopefully my opponent has nothing. Alright. Alright, we're doing we're doing stuff. 
Yes, Tasker would have been bad. Tasker is sweet. One, two, three, four. So they still can't. One, two, three, four. They still can't cast Tasker or Gurmag Angler yet. Though we are going to die. Serum Visions. Still can't cast Angler, so there's no sense stubbing. Dude, we're totally going to lose. This does not look good for the home team. I don't want to stub this. We want bolts. Okay, Death Shadow. All right. I think I want to snap Thoughtseize, my opponent, and then figure it out after that. Nice. So we're just like super dead. I'm definitely blocking if my opponent gives me the chance to. Oh, they drew a bolt too, so they still have push left over. So I basically need to draw like Death Shadow at this point. So I'm going to look at my top card here with Bobble. To land. So now we're going to bobble ourselves. We drew a bloodstain mire. So let's we might as well just crack this because we're dead no matter what. As long as we hit, we have to hit fatal push basically. Shadowlands always lose. And this is this here is like an up to Faithless Looting. You know, like, obviously we didn't draw it. We had to draw it early in the game. But you kind of keep some of these clunker hands against the discard matchups, and they do tend to, like, you know, fix things up for you. All right, one time. Too late. The old bobble struggle. <clears throat> and that's what you get. I mean, like, I would say this deck is... I would say the versions with... Do we see bobbles from my opponent? We didn't. So I, I would assume that my version of the deck is weaker in the mirror. You know, when you look at it, it's much leaner and lower to the ground. It doesn't have as much many cards that do things. No bobble, yes. And maybe, maybe the metagame is moving to the mirror. Like, maybe I should have three pushes and one bolt. I don't know. The 3-2 dream, yes. You're playing a lot of mirrors online? I don't care where people stay playing this deck. Do you like it? You're a fan. I played like the tightest KCI match ever earlier today. 
I'd like to play first. This hand is great. I'm going to Thought Scour on one, then save my Street Race for next turn to use my Serum Visions. Yes, the 3 2 Dream. So because my opponent mulliganed, I am going to cycle a Street Wraith on one because I just love discard spelling my opponent's a mulligan. And I can still hold one Street Wraith for next turn. So good at this game. Holy shit. Alright, we're going to take this chalice. And then we are digging for a threat. Something to kill them. Because these smashers are going to be scary. Also, going to play a lot of URLs. So this deck makes me be in. Yeah. Yeah, get this fucking chalice out of here. Put a card on top, which is nerve wracking. Uh, probably just get another watery grave. Like, worry about this bolt some other time. Could get steam vents. Is it? I, I haven't played against this serum powder all Jazzy deck. Um, I guess I can get Steam Vents. Nah, I'm going to get Water Grave. I just get so wrecked by Steam Vents so often. Scour them. I could. Ugh. All right, we don't want either of these. <clears throat> Punch goes like Eldrazi Temple Chalice. Another Bobble opponent and scour him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get a lot of neat tricks with Bobble. Okay, goes quarter. Control Z. Let's just yield until the next end step. Oh, they pitch the guide. They cast Serum Powder. So they're going to be able to Drawsy. They're going to be able to smash me next turn, which is just great. Uh, one, two, three, Temple Smasher. So I've got to fetch a basic and then Snap Thought Seize them. And then hope to draw Death Shadow, go to one. That's what you're telling me. What a gross game. What a gross game. I could snap Serum Visions, but I don't think I'm beating a second reality. I'm not beating two Reality Smashers. No, there's no chance. Unless my top card's Death Shadow. Then the one underneath that's... Um, top card's Death Shadow. One underneath that is Battle Rage. Then I've got a chance. 
Because I can't even kill the first Smasher because I have to block with Snapcaster. This is not good. Not to mention I'm never beating a follow-up. All right. I will continue to play Magic. All right, dude, just miss. All right, Eldrazi Temple's a miss. <laughs> Looking out for me. I guess we can ditch this polluted delta while we're at one life. At least only two, there are two smashers down. They're probably going to ghost quarter my red source. Which is going to bum me out. Come on. All right. I'm going to tap this so they don't ghost quarter it. It's probably not going to work, but you never know. So you're saying there's a chance. Don't do it. Don't go as quarter of my blood gripped. I could just bolt them, but it doesn't change the clock at all. All right, I didn't do it. If I win this game, it's going to be incredible. I'll draw you my mic, okay? They're going to leave me with a red source. Holy shit. Guys, it's going to happen. One time. Do we even have a reality smasher covered? This is unreal. This is just wild. Matter shaper? Don't matter. Yeah. Yeah, I am. What did they, what did they draw? They drew, a, they drew a monkey. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm up late, Evan. Or Elliot, sorry. I'm playing an SCG Philly this weekend, so we're just getting some games in. They can't, they can't cast the monkey man. Wild. This is wild. Come on. Come on. Game one. Come on. Oh. We're still okay. Oh, we knew about this sign on here. So I don't think I'm going to attack. I could attack this Gurmag Angler. I know that they have the Monkey Man. That doesn't really change anything. I kind of just want to attack with the Death Shadow. Because I can bolt a blocker next turn. Yeah. Because like I can beat I can beat whatever it is. I can still beat um Reality Smasher. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Yeah, I think like we're officially ahead in this game.
we're doing it, chat. All right, at least that's going to be something. How tilted is my opponent going to be if they draw a mana monkey after this? That's what did it, Nameless. This 3-2 is for you, Nameless. Ooh. Okay. So we can no longer beat Reality Smasher. No Smasher one time. No Smasher one time. Or Walking Ballista. I don't know if this deck plays Walking Ballista. They're ditching their card here. Remember me on SCG when you win. Nameless underscore three. The real MVP. The deck plays Ballista. All right. Oh my God, that's wild. That is so wild. All right. So we're gonna get we're gonna get our stubs out of here. These are awful. I kind of want ceremonious rejection, a braid, Colagon's command. That might be too much of that effect, but I, this is definitely one. I kind of want to shave an angler. They're gonna have relics. Shave a Snapcaster Mage as they have relics. I probably can shave more of these because, like, their whole game plan is to get rid of whatever the dumb card is. <laughs> because I want to win, Elliot. I don't really want Snapcaster Mage or Gurmag Angler because they play four of the Relic of Progenitus's. And I'd like to just get those out of here. EE's also good, yep. Well, should we should bring that in for sure. I could just like I could just cut all of my anglers. Is that like wild? But then I don't know how I'm gonna win. Because they're going to be, they're four deep in relics. I kind of just want to get rid of all of these. And then maybe I can like, like what if I go like this and then cut like, one of these for this, if they have, the problem is nameless, I don't know what to cut because like, with they're they're going to be they're going to be four deep in relics, so these anglers are just never going to happen. Like they've got mimic, they've got so I could, we could cut one of these and then play another stub. Like stub's not great because we don't. We're going to try this. I don't know if this is right or not, but we're going to try this. You trust in the fish. I'm just worried about the fish, the fish not not doing it for us. If I had faithless lootings, I could be more like I could be more confident having fish. They're four deep in. I don't, I don't think four anglers right no matter what, Teddy. Like we're gonna try this, and I could. And I I could like we can board we can sideboard differently on the play and the draw because. I can, on the play, I can get Angler down before my opponent can pop Relic. So we're going to try it switched around here next time. We're going to keep this hand. Well, I mean, we have plenty of cards that aren't great, right? Like, I'm, sh I'm fairly convinced that like, I can be totally talked that it's not right to play zero anglers, 
but I don't think you can talk me out of having more than two of them in my deck, especially if I don't have, um, especially if I don't have, uh, whatever it is, I can't think, especially if I don't have, like, Faithless Looting, something to turn them into cards. Yeah, I could totally buy that. And we probably will board like that when we're on the play. Yeah, I just don't think you're I don't think it makes sense, Teddy. Like help is good, but it's got it's gotta make sense, you know? I think we just let this guy go. We have bigger fish to fry with our rejections. I didn't trust in the big fish. We'll we'll try it. We'll get nasty. We'll get nasty on the on the play for sure. Like it's quite we might not we just seriously like might have left ourselves with not enough ways to win. Which is also very legit. Don't trust the approach. We're gonna tap land here. No play from our opponent, maybe. All right, we're gonna reject this. Because we cannot stub it. Probably should have fetched a basic there. I was just like on an autopilot. Man, I also could have abraded that, but I kind of want to abrade this thing. Well, I, I've got to kill this, right? Like, these things are problems that, like, a braid has written all over. Right? Yes, but, like, what am I going to do, Elliot? Get my face kicked in? Well, like, then I have no, then I just have no answers to any creatures, right? And I get that, Fresh Kale, and we're going we're gonna to sideboard differently. Here and like, yeah, we died of this. <clears throat> so now we gotta hit basically Death Shadow on this turn. They're drawing another Reality Smasher, so that means we're drawing dead. Because like we can't block, we can't draw something to block this and kill this. All right. So let's just see how they sideboarded. But I get it. I get that. Elliot, like, I understand that. Yeah. Like, the problem, I just get, I got nervous and I over sideboarded for it. I definitely don't think that we can play, like, we can't play a lot of them. Like, we probably can play, like, two. Because I just, I, like, if I had Faithless Looting, I would play more than two because I can make something of them. So let's move these over here and let's try to figure out something else here. Mm hmm So let's cut the bolts. K Command doesn't seem great. It only shocks. Like it makes them discard, which they're kind of a clunky deck. EE is just an out to ch another out to chalice, basically. Lands a reshaper. That makes sense, Elliot. So maybe I don't want Snapcaster. Maybe Snapcaster is my weakest card. Because my graveyard's already going to be taxed because of the fish. 
These seem kind of medium. It's a resolved chalice. Also good to kill. Hang your back. Yeah, EE -E, e -E is good, Elliot. Yeah. I think I want both here. I'm going to bring in another battle rage and cut a stub. This is how we're going to do it. I just want like as many outs to Chalice as I can because Chalice just kind of like stops me from playing Magic. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan. If I had one more Street Wraith, I would keep. All right. We turned out okay. So we're looking for a discard spell. Discard spell off the top. Trust in the Wraith. Yeah, that would have been in our... In our uh, it would have been on us. <laughs> we will look at right results based. This is going to be the last game of the night. All right, we're going to keep, they kept a natural seven. I do think we want this. It kind of get, we get wrecked. We get wrecked by guide chalice. So maybe we don't want this. We want to go back, do that next turn. I'm going to put this on top and I'm probably not going to, not going to uh, play it on one. So they kept seven, so they have to have like a, a good seven. And like something that's in their range is guide chalice on the draw for a, a keepable seven without a serum powder. Yeah. It is a very good mall. Relic is fine. All right, let's fetch probably Watery Grave. All right, you got it. <laughs> oh, man. I can't even. Watery Grave. This one probably gets Steam Vents. No, that's stupid. Probably just double watery grave. Okay, Inquisition. <sighs> I think we're gonna wait. Look to stub an EE or, or stub a chalice or reject a chalice. Next turn, cycle, discard, and then Play a Death Shadow. <laughs> All right, you get my land, buddy. That is also worth it. Oh, I miss you, Elliot. 
Everybody loves the easy 3-2. So let's go get a Blood Crypt. It's been such a long league. We're already like two hours and 15 minutes just into this league. I don't play very fast, which is part of my issue. All right, that's a sick draw. Okay, so they had, we snuck, we sniffed out the Chalice. So I could just take Chalice Serum Powder. No, you can play Eldrazi anyways. Oh, man. We're going to lose our team or battle rage. Fly down to Sacramento. Two thought not seers is not good for the home team. Oh, those are the two thought seers. We'd be off to the freaking races. Sealed GP. You couldn't pay me to fly to a sealed GP. I am not that good enough at sealed. Not that good enough at any magic to fly to it, but. They played Eternal Scourge. No way. Whoa. So I'm just attacking and then likely just battle raging over whatever my opponent does here. Because we're not going to be able to use it next turn. Because they're just going to hit it, get it away. So let's get in our damage. This also means if my opponent attacks me, that the Thought Knots here has to chump block, which isn't nothing. This Eternal Scourge is going to be a problem. We're going to lose this game. Unless there's like a team or battle rage on top of my deck, we're totally gonna lose this game. I know we're gonna lose. We're we're dead. The old two three into three two. Dude, all the snapcasters are out. I have no idea how to sideboard against this deck. God, Elliot, you're great. Okay. One time. <sighs> Block, take five. How do I give myself the most? Actually, no. Block, take six. We're no take. How do I give myself the most look at Teamer Battle Rage? So I leave the Serum Visions on top. I guess I could Thought Scour my opponent, cast Serum Visions right now. Because we block here, take six. We know my opponent's last card is Serum Powder. Draw this, cast it, play it, and then pass the turn. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god, and we get to play Gurmag Angler. Okay, so block, block. I am not attacking. We're just getting nasty. Oh, this is wild. This is wild. Yeah, it is odd for them to give me an opportunity to draw. 
to draw into this. A 3 2. Oh, they rally three guys. They're still not cracking the relic. I can't believe it. I guess they want to be able to do Eternal Scourge shenanigans. Hopefully they chip shot me. Come on, just like attack with your Blink Moth Nexus. Nothing bad is going to happen. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> um, they can put nine. We could go over. Yeah, dude. They got to have like. They've got to have like a dismember. And then they have to dismember the Gurmag Angler. Uh, I'd like to say this game was all skill, sideboarding skill, sideboarding strategy, really the kind of shit that I'm proud of. I would just like everybody to know that. On this channel, it's just nothing but prime plays. And that's all this was. 100% played out perfectly, did not get lucky at all. Okay. So 11 minus 3 is greater than 8. 14 minus 3 is greater than 8, excuse me. Smart, thin, magic, the gathering. <laughs> My opponent's probably just rolling over in their chair. They scooped it up. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. That's the proudest 3-2 of my life. I am so 